Do you like the look of curved pieces but find them difficult to sew? In this video you'll learn an easy applique method for making circles. Unlike raw edge applique where you worry about the edges raveling, in this applique your edges are turned under and you don't have to worry about them lifting up. For this block you'll need a six and a half inch square and two scraps of fabric about five inches by five inches. You can download this pattern at learnhowtoquilt.com under the Saturday Sampler class or you can just grab a bowl or a lid for your circle. I like to use this clear set of plastic circle templates that you can buy at a fabric store or an art supply store. Trace around your circle on the back of one of the fabric scraps. I used a pen so you can see but you might want to use a marking pencil. Put right sides together and pin. What's nice about this technique is that you don't have to deal with any seam allowances. This circle that you draw is the size that you'll end up with. Sew on the line using a regular stitch length. I'm using a contrasting thread so you can see, but you'll want to use a thread that matches your fabric. When sewing on a curve, get in the habit of sewing a few stitches, stopping with the needle down, press your foot up, pivot, sew a few more stitches, needle down, press your foot up, and pivot a little. The tighter the curve, the more you should stop and pivot. You might not realize this, but when you go around a curve, you're pulling and pushing your fabric and you don't want that to happen because this will result in your piece not lying flat when you're finished. So make sure that you keep that needle down, press your foot up, and pivot every now and then. When you come to the end, make sure you go over the beginning stitches and lock that in place. Trim about an eighth of an inch over from the seam just sort of eyeball this. Pull apart the fabric and then clip a little hole and I like to make the slit a little bit bigger and this is where you'll you'll turn the circle inside out. Press your circle with a hot dry iron. Before I put this on the background I just wanted to show you that I use the same fabric on both sides, but some folks like to use the background fabric on the back. Or my friend Shirley, she swears by using these recycled dryer sheets on the back. The only problem with that is it, you have to be careful about pressing because they don't do well with the hot dry iron. And now I'm ready to place the circle on the background. You can press the background in the fourths and your square in the fourths and then line everything up. Or I usually just try to eyeball it. And when I get it where I like it, I'll pin it. When everything's been pinned in place, you can top stitch an eighth to a quarter inch around the edge. But don't forget to stop and pivot. You might also want to try a decorative stitch. I'm really bad at decorative stitches, but this will give you an idea. It sort of will jazz it up, or you can stitch your circle by hand. Now I'm using a contrasting thread so you can see the stitches. You'll want to use a thread that either matches your applique circle or the background. So I start on the back, and I've, I come up right in the edge of my piece. I come, where I've come up, I'm going to go down right next to that and then I'm going to scoot over just about an eighth or sixteenth of an inch. I'm going to come up in that back there. I'm going to go down about the same place where I came up. Scoot over. Here's my first stitch. Here's my second stitch and I'm going to scoot over about the same distance. Come up just going to clip a little bit of that, a little piece of it there, and I'm going to go back down. And I'll continue stitching like that all the way around. If you want more information about hand stitching, go to our Beginner Basics page and click on the applique section. Here's my completed six and a half inch square, all ready for my sampler quilt. 
Now that you know some methods for dealing with squares and circles, you might want to try a more complicated block. To make this lantern, I cut one block in half and another circle block in fourths. You'll have to adjust a little for seam allowances. Add some rectangles in your corners and you're all ready to go. In the next video in this Saturday Sampler series, you'll learn all about sewing these quarter inch seams while putting together a simple block with two rectangles. Thanks for visiting LearnHowToQuilt.com. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel and share our videos with your friends.